Hello and welcome back to Minecraft with Niceberg. That's me, and uh, I am excited to have you along for the episode today. Last week, last time, uh, we did a couple of things. We built up a little uh, space around our iron farm, and we also built our villager breeder, and so uh, things are going well. Now, um, we're going to take a quick break from projects today. I feel like we've been doing a lot of projects around here, building some things. I want to go on some adventures today. And there's one really important adventure that I want to go on. Um, and so we are definitely going to go and do that today. Um, so I'm going to save that as a little bit of a surprise. But for now, uh, we have just a little bit of work to do. You can see I'm down to level one, and that's because I've been working on this bow here. I'm breaking three, power four, punch two right now. I'd like to add flame and infinity. And of course, I'd also really like to get that bow up to power five. So we're going to spend a few minutes trying to get a, a, a decent bow here. And then uh, we're going to take an adventure in the nether. And then we're going to have an adventure in the overworld. And uh, yeah, should be a little bit of fun. So I hope you hang out and see what that's all about. All right, we've spent some time at the zombie spawner. And let's, uh, oh, shoot. There's a guy right there. They've been coming in and surprising me like that on a regular basis here. And another one. Yo, this whole social spawning thing needs to cut, needs to stop, needs to cut it out. Goodness gracious, folks. All right. Um, so I've got several bows here. Bought some power ones. Let's see what this guy's going to enchant. Power three. Do we get anything else? No, just power three. Um, if I go get one more power one bow... I could get that to power four and then get that to power five. But let's see if... Okay, we're going to get unbreaking three there. Um, let's go ahead and get those couple of levels and see if we can't get a little bit better bow to combine with our current power four. There we got it. Punch two, power four, unbreaking three. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't have infinity or flame on it. Uh, this is the exact same bow. We've got two of the exact same bow here. So now I'm thinking that maybe we... Uh, we just build two bows at the same time so that we have them if we need them. So there's a power four. So I think, again, I'm going to get those levels, get that power four bow. That'll allow us to combine with one, and then we'll have a backup bow for whenever we need it. Oh, man, I came up out of the cave down there by the spawner, and this dude was here. And I uh, just thought I'd get our first bow shots on camera. Uh, get that little bit of XP. Make sure there isn't... There they are. I was going to say, make sure that there's anybody else around. Now, we do have a little problem here because that guy is going to give us, uh, uh, what is it, bad omen if we kill him. And with our villagers here, uh, we are going to be in a serious raid issue. Oh, my goodness. What, what in the world? They spawned in here with my cows. Uh, I'm going to get these guys out of the cow pen. And then we'll move on to our next task, which is a little bit of adventure in the nether. Now, I did some exploring over here somewhere uh, for some glowstone and things like that. And I know that I saw something. I'm pretty sure it was over here in this corner. Thought I saw something that is going to be vitally important for our exploration. Yes, a warped forest yeah so we are gonna head over there and we are gonna set up a little hut little uh, blind there and we are gonna do ourselves a little enderman hunting i just wanted to share uh the struggles that i'm having in this warped forest uh if you look around me i don't think you would know that i'm in a warped forest yet i'm in a warped forest so yeah, I haven't seen a single Enderman. That's all the like warped fungus and stuff I'm seeing. So this is uh, not awesome. It only took a little bit of time, but I did find the uh, good a good section of warped forest. And then it took me a while to even find any Enderman in this warped forest. And I think it's because there is actually a Bastion pretty close by. And so I had to get a little ways away from the Bastion. I think... I think that's what happened. I think that's what happened. So uh, we've got ourselves a little shelter here now, 
and um, that's why I brought the iron sword with us instead of the instead of using the diamond sword because the iron sword has looting three on it, which as you can see there, first Enderman dropped a pearl, and that's why looting three is such a big deal if we're lucky. Nope, uh, we just got that very first one. Actually, I think we do have one uh, somewhere at home in the base uh, so we'll have to see if we can find that but uh, this is what our next few minutes is going to be like just trying to hunt around run around finding endermen and uh, trying to uh, relieve them so to speak of their pearls so uh, we'll come back in when we've got some progress made hopefully i just had to cut in and we've barely made any progress i i got one more pearl from an Enderman over there, but look at this. We've got like six Endermen uh, lined up here just waiting for us to, uh, again, relieve them of their pearls. So uh, we've got ourselves a nice little shelter here, and let's see if we can get them all to come our way. Safely got back over to the other blind, had to run out, couldn't get them uh, to aggro on me, so I had to run out and, and attract them. You can see I took a little bit of damage, but y'all, with just those few Endermen, we're already up to 21 Ender Pearls. So uh, I'm guessing that maybe y'all have figured out what the uh, final adventure of today is. We had, again, uh, the adventure here in the Nether, uh, which was to find ourselves some Ender Pearls. And we're going to have an adventure in the Overworld soon as well. And I'm hoping maybe you know exactly what that adventure is. But uh, if not, you're going to find out pretty soon. I did notice while I was over here in kind of my second blind, that's where I saw all these all these crazy numbers of Endermen. Um, I had a blaze spawn. And check it out. There is a fortress right here. So I don't know if this is part of the fortress that we've already found or if this is a new one. But we're going to go ahead and break in and kind of see where we're at here. And yeah, this is the fortress that we've already found. Uh, we can see that with uh, the blocking here that we've done. So I think I'm just going to run through here and uh, see if I can find my way back. There's one of the spawners. Um, maybe we should spend a little bit of time at one of the spawners here. Get a few more blaze rods, uh, both for potion brewing and uh, for when we are ready to go find the stronghold. Our nether adventure for the day is done, and it is time to head back to the overworld and prepare for our overworld adventure. Here we go. Now, as we prepare for our overworld adventure, um, I'm just kind of realizing that, gosh, I, I need more space. My inventory is nearly full, and space would be nice um, and so you know we've got some eyes of ender and i've got four obsidian here i've got one obsidian upstairs in the chests so we need three more obsidian we're going to go ahead and get our first ender chest today and of course we do have silk touch on the pick so that would be perfect for our overworld adventures so here we go with our very first ender chest uh, what a great way for us to start off our overworld adventure. So we're going to put the stone cutter and uh, six of these stacks of cobblestone in here. And uh, again, I'm thinking probably many of you are starting to figure out what it is that we're doing. Uh, I'm going to toss. I don't know why I need those slabs right now. Don't know why I need that helmet right now. Won't need the glass bottles. Everything else we could potentially need on our adventure. So we'll leave everything else there. And of course, we'll pick this up and take it with us. Make sure that we got the silk touch pick there. All right, so um, again, as you've probably figured out by now, we are on the hunt for the stronghold today. Our nether adventure was to find, hey, hey, Mr. B, get out of there. Our nether adventure was to find us some ender pearls and some blaze rods. Our overworld adventure is to find us a stronghold. So uh, let's huck that first eye of ender in the world and figure out where it went. And it's headed off in this direction. Boy, every really first one breaks. All right. Everything seems to be off in this direction. 
Uh, we found our village off in this direction. We found a, a, a ship and a buried treasure off in this direction. And so we are going to be headed out for a while. Um, now, I have everything we need for this little adventure. I've got uh, some arrows. Actually, I probably should have brought more arrows, to be honest with you. Uh, we got plenty of food. We've got 19 Eyes of Ender. That means that we could break seven on our way out there and still have enough if the portal doesn't have any eyes in it. Um, I've got a bed. I've got a boat. I even brought a saddle. And I, again, thinking real quickly here, I should have grabbed a lead uh, so that if we do find a horse along the way, we can speed up our overland adventures. But uh, that's all right. We will make it this way just fine. So again, remembering that home base is around zero, zero. We've gone 685 blocks in the X direction, 950 in the Z direction. So let's go ahead and toss another eye of Ender and see where it leads us. So we are still headed off in that same direction. Good to know. We are getting into some hills, so before the terrain gets too tall around us here, I'm going to toss another eye, and it is back. So we have passed, we have passed the stronghold. This is beautiful. Now we've also gone past. Uh, well, this is one village. I think we've gone past two villages, maybe. So the stronghold is somewhere uh, between here and just the other side of that village, because that is where I tossed that other pearl you, that you saw. So toss it one more time and. It's gonna go out there and drop and uh, this is awesome okay so uh, we're basically on a straight line so it's it's literally somewhere on this line that I'm looking at and so uh, we'll see if we can get the pearl to kind of go down towards the ground um, I really don't want to have to dig in the water although I do have respiration we're good there um, but I don't really want to have to do that. So if it were not in the water I would really like that. It's gone down. Okay, we're basically on top of it here. So it is time to start digging. Here we go. Oh, I think I put my... I brought two boats with me. Yeah, I put my shovel in there. Let's go ahead and put the boats away. Saddle can go away for now as well, uh, seeing as how uh, we have found this place and have not come across a horse. And uh, that's okay. We'll do it. You know, whatevs. Here we go. Digging down. Um, I think right here is where we're going to dig down. Let's let's kind of mark this a little bit uh, with something. How about a couple of torches so that... Oh, for Pete's sake. Why did I do that? Um, let's mark this with a couple of torches. And that way uh, we know where that is when we come back. And uh, here we go. Diggy, diggy until we find the stronghold. And there it is. We did not have to dig very far. Excellent, excellent. We are in, folks. I spy a stronghold. All right, so uh, we got some stairs down here, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and dig. Oh, okay. Well, that works too, huh? Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and dig down here. I want to make it so that I can get a water stream down here pretty easily and be able to get up and down without too much of a problem. Uh, let's light up a little bit, try and protect ourselves. Um, possible portal room over there. Ooh, library. That's beautiful. Let's check this way. Again, I'm wanting to just light this up so that we don't get surprised by any baddies down here um, at any point in time. Check some chests in a little while, but right now I am pretty geared up and decked out and I'm not too stressed about what's in these chests. Um, why don't I just open the door? What am I doing?
All right, one of these rooms. Um, the good news is there's a lot of dead ends in here. So that means that we're going to be able to, f like, okay, maybe not find the portal room really easily, but it just means that we're going to be able to rule out a lot of places pretty quickly. Yeah, see, that's great. Okay, cool. We've basically explored this entire side, so we're going to head back, uh, try and kind of find where it was that we came in here at. And it must have been right here. Yeah, there is our our little uh, our entry tunnel. And um, let's go down this time, see if there's anything in this direction. Just this one room, okay, with some iron and redstone, which is fine. Again, not things I need right now, so I'm not going to fill my inventory even more. All right, we're going to head this way. Did we look in this chest? Ooh, three more diamonds. That's beautiful. Um, and let's see where we want to go over here. This is a little broken, it seems like. Um, and that makes me a little uncomfortable. But if we light this up, at least we won't get anybody scaring us or surprising us from there and if we oh geez here's the portal room right here oh awesome 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 let's break this spawner so that we don't have to worry about those guys anymore and then we'll take care of the three here that have um the three or four that have spawned oh yeah look at that you guys caught yourself caught in your own lava this is pretty neat we've got ourselves a uh an amethyst geode right next to the portal uh, which is just interesting cool spawning um and we've got the portal how exciting you all our overworld adventure is at an end what an exciting day this has been for us to have another adventure that ended in a warped forest to have an overworld adventure that's ended in the portal room and uh, i'm gonna do a couple things around the portal room here off camera and then we're gonna come in and yes Yes, yes, yes. We are going on one more adventure today, and that is an adventure to the end. So um, get ready for that. Get hyped. How many pearls are missing? Oh, they're all missing. So it is a good thing that we went ahead and got at least 12. So I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of decoration and things around here and uh, get this room ready for me to head in and uh, have an adventure in the end. How exciting. So I've taken the lava out from underneath the portal here and just made these nice little flows in the wall to keep the space lit up nice and well um, and keep myself protected basically uh, as I'm moving around the room and just to be safe. So um, y'all, we are ready to go. So I'm gonna show you what I've done. I've got the stone cutter with me. Um, I've got some cobblestone with me and actually I'm now thinking that I'll take my ender chest with me so I've got these things. Pull the glass bottles out. That way we can uh, get the achievement for uh, grabbing some dragon's breath. Okay, here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Overworld adventure finished. Nether adventure finished. End adventure just beginning. Excellent. This is how I like to spawn. We've got ourselves a little protection here. Um, we're not in the center of the island, it doesn't look like, but we are at least we at least have some protection. We're not out in the middle of nowhere, uh, which I really like. So uh, first things first, when I go attack the dragon, we're going to go ahead and create for ourselves a little platform that we're going to be able to hide under. So um, I, I brought slabs with me. We're going to go too high. That way, if any endermen, if I do accidentally aggro any endermen, we can hide from them. Um, and I use slabs because I can get more slabs from a stack of cobble than uh, a stack of cobble. And it doesn't matter whether these are slabs or full blocks for this. So... Um, See? See that? I There's no way I looked at him. There is no way I looked at him. But he is here, and he is unhappy. I, I do not, I do know that you can wear a pumpkin, and the Enderman can't see. I hate wearing the pumpkin. Ooh, we got some Dragon's Breath here. Let's fill our bottles. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, we've already got that achievement done. 
So now I'm going to throw these bottles in my ender chest so that they aren't taking up extra space. And get me my pick there. Um, let's go ahead and just leave that there for now. Whoa, look at all the dragon's breath here. All right, so if you don't know the first thing that has to happen when you when you fight the dragon, you got to take out all the crystals on top of the towers. You can see that the dragon is getting replenished by them. So the easiest way to do that is to shoot them off with your bow. There's one down. And I generally like to go in order as best I can unless the position of the dragon is just such that it makes more sense to, to go ahead and take one out um, that is out of order. And I like to go in order that way. I just keep track of which ones I've done and which ones I've haven't. Which ones I've done and which ones I haven't. That one may be just a little too far away. Yeah, I'm getting way lower. Couldn't see that. And here's the dangerous part of this now, right? Is you can see the Enderman kind of walk past me. And every now and then, okay, got that one. No, we couldn't see the explosion, uh, but you saw the dragon take damage. And I think we just got that one as well. So that's fantastic. I am, we are really doing this pretty quickly. This may be the fastest I've ever gone about um, getting the crystals shot off. Now we're going to need to be cautious here because she's going to come after us. Yep. And we got launched a little bit. So let's go hide for a second and uh, eat some baked potatoes, get our health back up. And I think... Um, this this tower still has a crystal on it, and then the caged crystals may be the only ones that are left. So, and this one here. So I think we're really darn close uh, to having everything down and being able to uh, start shooting actually at the dragon here. Now, we do need to be careful because remember that I don't have infinity on my bow, and um, I barely have a stack of arrows left here 64 plus 6 so just over a stack turn around and now we need to take off this uh the one on the top of that tall tower there is still up there that one i may need to climb up for because i cannot see it well enough she's going to come off that pedestal and fly towards us right yes Let's try and get away best we can. So this one that's up there, I'm probably going to have a hard time hitting from the ground. Unless I just did. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get the ones that are in the cages. And if she's still taking health from this tower here, uh, then we'll know whether or not we took that crystal out. So on the cages, you can come down to the corner basically shoot in the corner there boom got that one on the first try sometimes that takes me a couple of tries uh, when I'm using that method if you can't get them from the ground then you do have to tower up and uh, that just runs the risk of of you know getting shot off um, from the from the dragon Let's see if we can get in there come on now there we got it okay so the only one that I have a question on then is this tower over here. I don't think we've... I may have just looked at an Enderman. Okay, maybe not. Um, yeah, so it's this tower over here is the only one that I think might still have a crystal on it. And I, I'm not actually sure. So if we could get her to try and take health from it, which maybe if we injured her... She might try and fly over there. I generally don't like to go attack her when she's right in there like that. Um, I find that to be dangerous for me. Um, I tend to get hit and have to fly off. Now she is not taking. She's not gaining health, so maybe we already did get that one, and I just don't remember it. Entirely possible. Again, do want to be cautious. I've only got 47 arrows left. And again, I prefer to shoot her while she's flying uh, than rush up and attack her while she's on the post there. But if we have to do that, we have to do that. I'll be as safe as I possibly can, and hopefully we won't die. Look at all the ender pearls. Let's grab those. What the heck? Why not? Jeesh. Helping us do a job, I suppose. All right, here she comes. 
So since I am so short on arrows and I'm having such a hard time hitting her, let's go ahead and rush in. Some hits. I prefer to come from behind. And we can crit. Pay attention to her if she starts to turn or something. We need to make sure that we move. As soon as she flies off, we need to try and yep, we need to try and uh, seek some shelter from her. Good, good, good. Okay, beautiful. That worked out really well. She's about halfway down, and again, not gaining any health from anywhere. So apparently, that one that I thought we still had left, we actually took care of, uh, which is excellent. We're down to 39. Only 39 arrows left. I did not bring a sword. This sword is not really a great sword uh, to take on the dragon, but uh, that's okay. This is also why I prefer to have infinity on my bow, because I don't have to worry about how many arrows I've got. I never have to worry about that when you've got infinity on the bow. Boom. Got her. Boom. Got her. Missed. 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 Boom, got her. All right, get around behind. I prefer, again, I prefer to come from behind. To me, that's the safest. As she turns, so you really got to be ready to move. And all of these that were landing should be crits. That's why I'm jumping when I hit her. We're so close. You know, if I had... Oh, man. See, if I had gotten a sword, if I had taken the time to put together a sword for her, that probably would have been the end of the battle right there. And instead, we're going to have to wait one more round here. Boom. Got with the arrow. Um, maybe maybe we can get a, land a couple arrows here and finish this off before we have to stress about her coming back down to the, down to the center. Got one there. That was a lucky shot, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna wait for her uh, to come back towards center so that we don't waste our arrows. Again, we're under half a stack of arrows here. Oh, this is the most stressful thing ever. Uh, fortunately, with our armor, uh, we do have good armor. Here she comes. All right, can we get, can we land a couple? As she comes down and finish this battle. There's one. Yes! 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 Finished! We have freed the end! Oh, all that beautiful XP. All that beautiful, beautiful, glorious XP. There is nothing better in Minecraft than being able to gather all of this beautiful, lovely, and fantastic XP. So there you have it. The dragon is dead. We've got the dragon egg up there. We'll maybe get that uh, in a little while. Um, I don't really want to go grab it right now. Well, we can. Why not? What the heck? So uh, just if you don't know how to do this, the dragon egg you can't break. So um, touch it, and it will teleport somewhere nearby. There it is. And then you take your pickaxe and you dig out a couple blocks below. You plop a torch down there and it will turn into an item. Boom, there you go. And so uh, we've now got the dragon egg as well, uh, which is fantastic. So I am, that was very, that was, oh, that was intense. I'm so glad it went well. I'm so glad I didn't die. And uh, that is fantastic. Now, um, I had a snow day this week, and it's President's Day today when this video is releasing, and so uh, we're going to make this just a little bit longer episode uh, because I want to go on a second adventure in the end. That's right. Today is all about adventure. We had a short nether adventure. We had a longer, a longer overworld adventure. We've seen the dragon die, and now... Y'all, 
I so want to fly. I just want to fly. So we are going to go ahead and go on a second adventure in the end. Now, I am not prepared for this adventure, so we're going to have to go back to the overworld um, and get some things. I need rockets. I need rockets. Um, I want to get some more food, and I definitely need more arrows before we go take on any shulkers. So um, I, I've got my, where's my ender chest? Let's grab that and take it out of the end with us. Oh, this was a great battle. I am so pleased with how quickly and how well it went. Um, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. Next time you see me, uh, we'll be back. We'll be back here in the end, getting ready to head through that end gateway and find ourselves our first elytra. And we're back in the end, ready for our second end adventure. Uh, we're going to have to get over to that end gateway over there so that we can go find our first elytra i did go back home i got several more stacks of arrows and uh or yeah several more stacks of arrows and also created as many rockets as i could with the gunpowder that we had which wasn't a whole lot but it was plenty for uh for our needs right now oh thank goodness i always like it when the end gateways actually spawn over the top of the island instead of out over the void so uh we're just gonna stare up to that end gateway and it doesn't matter too much where we start at uh, so we take a trap door we pop it on uh, the edge here open it up stand here and we go through all right here we are into the end remote getaway darn right remote getaway and uh, we'll let things kind of uh you know, spawn in around us, rendering around us as we wait and see. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can see any end cities within view of our spawn here. Well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? You can see a pretty big island out there, one over here. So let's just pick a direction and uh, start bridging to one of the islands. I kind of feel like that island over there would be a good one to bridge to. Uh, that would be in the southwest direction. So let's go ahead and start bridging out there. Now, this is really why I brought the stone cutter with all of our cobble, which is at this point, we can make our cobble last twice as long by bridging with uh, slabs instead of brick. So we made it to the next island. You can see we're just, just across there. And you can see how many slabs I used, right? Like almost all of those slabs that we made. So that's why um, I prefer to go the slab the slab method here, um, just because of how many it can, it can take to get across. So we'll go ahead and slab up a couple more stacks of cobblestone there um, and go from there. Now, I still can't see anything, which is fine uh, but I'm gonna do something <laughs> I know not everybody has this option but we're gonna go ahead and crank the render distance up to 32 chunks um, at the moment my computer will do that just fine um, we might get a little bit of lag you can feel it just a hair there um, and so I will only do this while we're exploring and looking for an end city. Once we find one, we'll go ahead and turn it back down and make sure that we get a, a smoother gameplay. But for now, while we're looking around and trying to see where we need to go, we'll go ahead and leave our render distance up as high as it'll go. So, um, yep, just gonna wander around the end looking for those lovely purple blocks. And hopefully the first one we find has a ship with it because I want my wings. I want my wings, people. I want to fly. Here we go. So this is interesting. I don't think I've ever seen this this close before. We got an end gateway right over there, and there's one right over. <gasps> oh, yes, 
It looks like a big one too. Please. Please. Is there a ship? Yes, there's going to be a ship. Ah! Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. This is great. All right, let's go this way because I think there's going to be a shorter bridge. And we got an end gateway right here. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just smiling. I'm so happy. Let's do a little bridge. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my render distance down before we get too close. Uh, that way I can just make sure that uh, um, everything is smooth as we get up there and we don't have any problems because of that. So, so like to give you a sense now, this is back to 16 chunks we wouldn't even be seeing the in city until right now, right? Um, so that's the benefit of being able to turn that render distance up as high as as high as that as high as I had it there, which was as high as it goes. Um, so our second end adventure is really underway right now. Oh, hit that thing! Don't let it hit you. Hit that thing! Don't let it hit you. Got it. All right, beautiful. And uh, one, sh are we've we've just Killed our first shulker. Second one is down now. And no shells from that. All right. Uh, that's going to be the name of the game here in this first in city without looting three is a lot of disappointment probably from the number of shulker shells we get from such a large city. But but that's okay. Um, we'll we'll make we'll make it. We'll make woof. We will make. We will get through it. That's what I'm trying to say for Pete's sake. Erg, 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 erg. That is exactly what I didn't want to have happen. Now we need to do some uh, damage control because the more of these that are still alive, the more frequently we're gonna get shot at, the more often we're gonna get hit. So um, we have good armor, which is excellent. Very happy about that. But still we need to uh, save ourselves a bit. All right. We're going to get minimal drops without looting three. So uh, we do want to go ahead and make sure that we, we get that stuff. Oh, there's efficiency for unbreaking three. That'll be a good work pick. Uh, other stuff I'm going to leave there for now just because I don't need it. And this is another place where the elytra would come in handy right away. I come around to this side a little bit. Uh oh, got hit. Got hit. That's not good. Uh, so we'll go ahead and drop a slab there. That way uh, we won't actually get elevated out of here. There we go. Oh, I got smart play happening here, folks. Smart play happening. Oh, look at that. This is the... Uh, this is the... Uh, da -da 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 ship side. Bum -ba -da 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 -da. Excellent. Oh, what a great day. This is such a good day. Y'all have no idea how excited I am about this day. One's out of the way, and... Da -da 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 one... Oh, what? Come on. Well, that at least hit him. One, and hopefully just... Oh, for Pete's sake. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, what? <laughs> anticipated the opening on that one and we'll just bridge out real quick and we are in the ship we are in the ship this is the best i'm so excited let's go down and get our first elytra from the cargo hold yar matey i don't know what i'm doing why am i talking like a pirate okay there it is Let's uh, check our inventory. Okay, we got just a little bit of space, so let's go ahead and grab it. Our first wings. Hala. Beautiful. What? What a good look. Huh? What a good look. Our first flight. Now that we've got the Elytra, uh, we're going to attack this in a little bit different way. Um, I really actually do prefer to come in from the top in a lot of these places. Um, I find that to be a little bit, a little bit easier, a little more effective, at least for me. Ooh. Well, if there's a part of this in city that I have not been in, I'm not sure what part it is. Uh, we've gotten a lot of loot from here. Uh, I've got 
this is 14 shulker shells. I've got more in my ender chest. Uh, we got a lot from this building. Uh, the one thing that I do wish we had was a second elytra, which obviously would require us to go find another end city. So not only do we really need another elytra, or would I really like one, we need to be careful with the one we've got uh, because I don't have unbreaking or mending on it, and so um, I don't want to... I don't want it to to fall apart or anything like that right before we can do that now um, there were two end gateways nearby but i'm a little turned around okay there's the ship so i think we actually came from this direction the ship was on the far side so there should be two end gateways nearby uh there's our bridge so yeah it should be nearby over in this direction yep there's one right there so let's go ahead and pop through that one and uh head back to our, the overworld and head back to our base. Thanks for coming along today on our adventuring episode. Hello, Kitty. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. It was good to get away from some of the building and farming and things that we've been doing in the last few episodes. And of course, we got our beautiful, beautiful wings. So until next time, we will see you right back here. I hope you have a great week. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode and hopefully you are ready for more when we come back to Minecraft with Niceberg. See ya.